Hello guys and welcome to another PFL Tuts video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use green screens in Sony Vegas. It's really cool and I hope you guys enjoy it. To start off, let's go ahead and drag our background onto the timeline. I'm then going to go to the pan and crop options and I need to turn off the aspect ratio because it's a widescreen image. And my project settings are currently set at 1280 by 720 as you can see here. Next, let's go ahead and drag our green screen footage onto the timeline. I'll then cut my BG to fit. As you can see, there's a green screen, but you can't see the background behind it. There's a couple of things we need to do. Number one, we need to get rid of the green screen. Number two, we need to go ahead and get rid of the watermarks on the footage, but these could also stand in as lights or anything else that might be in the scene that you don't want included on your composition. And number three, we need to adjust the levels of the actress so it looks a little bit more natural. So to start, let's go over here to the Event Pan and Crop section, and we need to click on the Mask tool. We then need to make sure that we have the Anchor Creation tool selected, and we simply need to make a selection around our actress all the way, and then end it, and you'll know it's ended by the way it highlights yellow. That way, she is cut out, and that way when you play it, you can see she doesn't go outside of the frame or anything like that, but she's totally in it, but with still some green screen on it. Next, we need to go ahead and click on the track effects option and we need to go ahead and go all the way down to Sony Chroma Keyer. We then need to select the color and use our color picker tool and click on the green background. As you see as soon as you do that it disappears but she does in some parts as well. To fix this we need to go ahead and go to show mask only and we then need to go ahead and up our low threshold to where there's no gray on the background. We then need to lower the high threshold until she is solid white as you can see I'm doing here. So now that she is completely solid we can then adjust the low threshold a little bit more to get it a little bit more accurate. Right there is pretty good. We will need to add some blur on this so I'm going to go ahead and put 0 0.15 and as you see it just blurs the edge a little bit making the transition from the background to her a little more natural especially when she moves. You can then click on the show mask option to reveal her on the screen. Now this looks pretty good, but as I said before, the levels are off slightly. She looks a little dark and we need to go ahead and lighten that up. So we're going to go ahead and close that option and then go ahead and open back up this option here. We're then going to go ahead and click on the plugin chooser and double click Sony levels and then hit OK. You'll know that it's selected because it'll show up right here. And then you just simply hit OK. The levels will pop up. We then need to go ahead and go down to the increase gamma section. Now we can also do studio RGB to computer RGB and adjust it that way. And that's actually what I'm going to do because I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit more accurate. So to start, let's go ahead and adjust the input end down to make her a little bit brighter on the screen. The output end will adjust the darkness of the image. So that one we're going to leave alone and instead we're going to up the gamma uh, to about there and then we'll in adjust the input a little bit more to get it to be slightly more accurate as you see there. Now these other options they will kind of brighten things up as well so we'll go ahead and adjust that a little bit and also this one we'll leave that one about right there. And she now looks very natural on the screen and especially when you play it, it looks really, really, really good. So that's how to do green screens, very basic in Sony Vegas. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button to let us know. And if you guys want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more PFL tutorials. Thank you and have a great day.